response is hardly spiritual in the classical sense. I will not say that for life's decisions kneel down in front of the unknowable I will not say that what you need lies beyond the grasp of your mental faculties. I am saying live by what you already know. First of all, you have no other option. Secondly, what you already know is very sufficient to make a beginning. And you said you are a beginner. The trouble with most of us is not that we do not know some transcendental ecclesiastical truth. The trouble is that we just don't simply live by even that which is within our mental province. It is not as if we have come to the boundary of our knowledge and our limited realization. We haven't. If we come to our own boundaries, then the beyond cannot be far enough. The boundary of the little self is where the truth stands to greet you. So you don't really have to search for the truth. You just have to come to the boundary of your own province. Come to your own boundary and there you will find something of the beyond. But do we care enough to come to even our own boundaries. I'm not talking of leaping out of yourself. You don't need to leap out of yourself. But at least, putting in a very cliched way, do the best you can. If you can't go beyond yourself, at least do the best you can. And when you have come to the utter limit of your personal resources, there you find something a bit magical happening. But our situation is strange. We do not do what we can We do not challenge ourselves enough We do not make the best utter and desperate use of our own personal limited resources but we want some kind of a helping hand to descend from the heavens It won't. And this is good news. Because it means that each one of us, as he or she is, 
is fully capable of helping herself himself. Maybe we can't see beyond the hills. But there is nobody who does not see clearly enough to take even the next step. And that's all that you need. Inspiration, energy and clarity just to take the next step. What after the next? That's not our business to ask. Sitting where we are, if we demand the whole blueprint, the roadmap of the entire state, then we are transgressing. One step is sufficient and that one step each one of us is endowed enough to take. Hmm? That one step happens to be so simple and obvious that it doesn't appeal to us. We want things big and glamorous. Just as in the material world, size and shine appeal to us. Similarly, even in the spiritual domain, we want things colossal. Ah, magnificent, sensational to happen. Instead of those things, if we are advised to take one little baby step, it appears like a bit of let down. <laughs> 